Diese Konferenz wird nun aufgezeichnet. Yeah, welcome and good morning, everybody. It's my great pleasure to welcome you today. Uh, today we want to introduce the new Chemistry Master Program at uh, Technical University Dresden. This will begin in fall and with me is, uh, so my name is Stefan Kaskel. I'm the Dean of the Faculty Chemistry and Food Chemistry. And with me is uh, Professor Jan Weigand, um, who will help me to introduce the program today, the Dean of the Study of the Chemistry and Food Chemistry. And I will give a few slides for the introduction and then hand over to Jan Weigand. So you see here also the um, QR code. So here you can uh, download additional information, uh, the flyer for the chemistry program. And um, yeah, in the beginning, I would like to introduce Technical University Dresden briefly. Uh, Technical University Dresden is one of the German universities of excellence uh, since 2012. It has about 30,000 students and uh, about 120 courses and about 8,000 employees and a total budget of 780 million euro. Uh, Technical University Dresden is located at the heart of the city of Dresden. We have a beautiful uh, old part of the city. You can see here students sitting in front of the Frauenkirche. We have a beautiful modern campus. And um, before I begin with the chemistry course, I would like to say a few words on the motivation why chemistry today is very important and plays a key role for our future society. And I'm convinced that chemistry uh, plays a key role because it provides many solutions for major societal challenges. On the one hand side, Today, we live in the area of change of energy. So we transform our energy society, our energy um, supply from coal, from oil towards renewables. And there's many chemical solutions that play a key role for mobility and for, of course, improving the environmental, uh, environmental uh, situation and also for reducing the CO2 emissions. This has to do also with sustainability, of course. And uh, another major issue for our society is, of course, to provide uh, a good health system and food. And also here, uh, chemistry uh, plays an important role. And last but not least, our daily life today is dominated by information technology. Handhelds, mobile phones, tablets, and so on are very important. The internet is very important. And this all does not work without microelectronics. And therefore, also advanced information technology plays a key role. And also here, chemistry can play important uh, roles. So I uh, have a few slides into this direction. It's not exhaustive, of course. It will only stimulate you a, a little bit about the different topics that are also in our master courses, of course, but also important for um, the future. And the first part, I think what is, I'm convinced is a, an important topic is the uh, energy storage and conversion area. Here, there are many developments in chemistry for um, yeah, devising new systems, uh, batteries, for example, to support the electromobility. Uh, the energy economy transformation, I mentioned this, but there's also hydrogen, hydrogen technology is a very important topic for the future. So the development of new catalysts for the conversion of hydrogen for fuel cell driven cars, for example, is an important topic. So from batteries towards catalysis, all these topics, which are really at the heart of chemistry, play an important role for our future um, society. At the same time, also health plays an important role. And our chemistry master program has aspects not only of material science, but also in the area of biological chemistry, for example, pharmacological molecules. Our society needs new pharmacological molecules, um, um, new medicines, and uh, here biochemistry and biocatalysis plays also an important role. Um, and of course, these two topics, the biological chemistry and materials chemistry are also combined uh, with each other and therefore um, biomaterials can play an important role. And um, for example, for testing infrastructures, just think of all the COVID case, uh, tests that have been supplied um, for the crisis that is also basically chemistry. And last but not least, I mentioned uh, the 
communication platforms and the new materials, for example, for computing architectures play a key um, role here also. Dresden um, is a little bit in a special situation. Dresden uh, has is basically the biggest location of the semiconductor industry with many companies, Infineon, uh, XFAB, Bosch and so on are located in Dresden and there are also many jobs for chemists basically in, in this area. And of course, also at the university, there are new materials developed for computers or for quantum uh, computing. And there's also <clears throat> a big um, agency, it's called Silicon Saxony, basically um, combining this, uh, these different activities. So um, I will briefly illustrate the faculty. So the faculty has 23 professors and uh, divided into different areas ranging from inorganic physical chemistry towards analytical chemistry, biochemistry, food chemistry and organic chemistry. And what is also quite special for Dresden is that we have a huge number of external research institutes which are connected to the university. They, they are from the Leibniz Society, but also from the Max Planck Society, from the Fraunhofer Society in the areas of polymers, materials, um, but also biochemistry, the Max Planck Institute for Molecular Cell Biology, for example, and last but not least, the Helmholtz Center Dresden-Rossendorf, which is nearby, focusing all, on all these um, different areas. So from materials to food chemistry, from organic to inorganic chemistry, molecular chemistry, materials chemistry, all these areas are well reflected in Dresden and also reflected in our chemistry master program. We have a very modern infrastructure and buildings. And uh, what is also special is that uh, we have a focus on practical training. This is important in the COVID crisis. So our practical trainings are um, done in presence. And uh, if you're interested to see the department, you can also just um, scan this code here because each month on Friday afternoon, you can visit the department. And um, as a student, uh, if you're interested as a student in the afternoon, and there's a tour through the department, so you can look at all the different infrastructure. We even have a brewery. So there is a special beer brewed by Theo Dresden in the chemistry department. And you can also learn how to brew beer within the uh, chemistry courses. These are a few impressions for modern equipment, for example, for materials, microscopy is very important for molecules, X-ray diffraction is very important to elucidate the structure. So there's very modern equipment and for materials and molecules, very important is also NMR spectroscopy where we have, these are only a few instruments that are in our department uh, and which you can then also learn to use in your um, studies. This is the campus here. We are fully embedded in the campus. There are historical buildings and very modern buildings. This, for example, here is the um, this, for example, here is the Audi Max, the big auditorium, and um, the chemistry building is located here. It's a big building here, and uh, here all the chemistry um, disciplines are concentrated and we are embedded in the campus with many direct interactions. There are also external institutes are directly connected here on the campus to the, uh, to the uh, faculty. So there's many uh, chances for direct interaction also with external institutes. So this was a brief overview. And with this, I will hand over to Jan Weigand who will describe the master program. Thank you, Stefan. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, um, I also like to welcome all of you. And as uh, Stefan Kaskel already mentioned, I'm the Dean of Study um, at TU Dresden in the Faculty of Chemistry and Food Chemistry. And uh, we developed over the last three years a new master program in chemistry. And uh, maybe um, the new thing about this is that we only teach the master program now in English. So everybody from abroad has now a good chance to apply for the master program. And I'd like to introduce this in a moment. Uh, Stefan, if you are just going to go on and click, that's whom I'm interested. I think um, Stefan uh, Kaspel nicely delineated already and the motivation, um, which is uh, based on our challenges in the future, particularly in the 21st century. And it is really related to sustainability and also the development of new materials and drugs. And I think our master course is particularly suited here uh, um, to, to to add on and that you really can concentrate 
um, in which direction you'd like to go in the end because our master course is very much um, uh, modulated, uh, modular style so that you can really choose in which direction you want to end up and you'd like to focus. Next one. Um, if you'd like to come to Dresden, there are some prerequisites which are important to note. First of all, you need to have some sort of an university degree in chemistry or in a comparable field. You have to prove that the English is uh, sufficient. You have to reach at least at B2 level. Um, we'd like to have it in, on the advanced B2 levels. You see this in the points for TEFL, for example, or the ILTS. There will be a selection commission, uh, which then goes through all the applications and will uh, check if you are eligible to apply. And maybe the most important part here for you to mention is that, of course, at, uh, in German university, there are no tuition fees. But what applies, however, are some administration fees, which you need to pay every semester, but that includes a lot of benefits, such as uh, free traveling within Saxony, reduced uh, uh, costs for lunches and uh, uh, food, for example. But that's really just a minor amount, which you have to pay at the beginning of each semester. So next slide, please. What you see here is that um, we have a four semester master course, the enrollment, and that is also new, will be possible in summer semester and in the winter semester. It typically starts in summer in April and the winter semester typically starts in October. And it's a full-time study. There are options uh, for part-time study that it is possible, but that needs to be discussed for the respective students. As I mentioned already, our master course is quite modular in structure. You see it on the right-hand side that we have different blocks, which I will explain, explain you in a little bit more detail. We have modules, which uh, uh, will be credited a uh, maximum of 10 credit points, typically of five. They only run one semester, so there are not no master modules which will run for uh, more than one semester. All in all, you have to reach 120 credit points, and they are going to include uh, um, a master thesis which uh, um, has uh, uh, 30 credit points to be achieved. We have only two obligatory modules and these are more of the practical application. We call them material um, um, uh, inter internship courses um, here called RE1 and RE2. All the other courses you can choose are uh, selectable. No? So that means um, you are very free to choose from two of our main uh, uh, pillars. We divide them into material chemistry here in light blue and in biologically oriented chemistry in green. And we do have also master modules which belongs to both the material chemistry as well as biological oriented. Just give you uh, some examples. We have particularly in the material chemistry, really material related uh, uh, topics and in the biology, we have really like organic biochemistry also and bio-organic uh, um, uh, topics included. You see here on the left-hand side now uh, um, how the master course will be built up. You have uh, four semesters. Typically, you choose the master thesis in the last, in the fourth semesters. However, uh, there is also the options to change them. So this is very adaptable. What I have not mentioned yet is these white GEM modules, here seen as A and B. These are general, general educational models, which have to be picked up to 10 credit points, either one with 10 CPs or one with, or two with five DPs or only one with five DPs. Um, these are like um, extra courses which do not really uh, resemble chemistry topics such as language courses or you want to have more knowledge um, in mathematics or physics or economics. So that is uh, a little bit more on the soft skill sides which we'd like to have included in our master courses. All in all, you have to achieve 50 to 55 credit points from the bluish ones. And if uh, Stefan clicks one more time, you see how you can pick this. This is our catalog. So this is maybe a little small, but we have a, a large variety of different modules which you then can add together in the way you want, in the way you want to specialize. And Stefan, click one more time, please. You see how that works. You have very flexible courses. One more time again. And then you see that you really can, for example, pick uh, polymer chemistry or you can pick uh, um, uh, the... Uh, corresponding bi biology oriented modules and so everything is very 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 flexible except the two obligatory um, chem MAR1 and RE2. Next slide. 
So application deadlines, that's maybe very important for you. For German international students is uh, July by 31st. If you have a bachelor degree which is awarded abroad, we must have the certificates before 31. You see again the uh, a code on the left-hand side upper part. You fi fi will find all the procedures, the application the, the, uh, uh, um, 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 uh, that uh, informations there. Uh, all everything is in English, so you can follow the application procedure um, and see what is required. And I think then I give over to uh, uh, Stefan. He will finish with a few more information. And yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much, uh, Jan. Yeah, um, I uh, also wanted to remind you again, basically we have two sources of information. One is the flyer, basically. You can click on this QR or uh, scan this QR code here. This gives some basic information on the new master program. And then as uh, Professor Weigand mentioned, all the detailed information about the application procedure you will find on this web page. And here there's another QR code that you can scan and you can see all the, uh, the different um, information that is required for this. Um, we also, of course, are very well connected internationally. So if you come to Dresden, you also have the uh, possibility for international exchange. For example, this is only one example here within the Erasmus programs. This is what we offer. This offers training in another country. I think it's also a great opportunity for a student to get uh, a foreign language uh, experience, complementary uh, expertise, and you also get to, to know other people in another country. This is very important. And there's more information for the Erasmus program there. And I should also say that in the end, if you couldn't catch all the information in our presentation and of course we will be available for a discussion now but if you uh, read this information or if you listen to our presentation as a recording and you have further questions then there's also our administrator dr philip schlender who you can ask uh, more specific questions in your case if you have a complicated question there's more information available um, and philip schlender is available via uh, via email or also via telephone and here's some additional information uh, which you can scan for for this so i hope this was quite instructive and uh, we would be uh, happy to welcome you in dresden and with this i will close uh, the presentation and also close the recording